Mike of Van and Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Arik here, Carla Dirithan, head of the mudding team behind Divide and Conquer. Welcome back as we continue on as Isengard. The Hornberg is unfortunately under siege. Captain Glearthane has come with a large army of Rohiric garbage. I'm going to have to fight that off. But recently, of course, we captured Edoras, and there, Chief Lurtz, Conqueror of the Hornberg, and Lord Saruman, Pillager of Edoras, reside. Rohan are on the back foot, save for this fellow here, Gliathane. He comes, and he brings armies with him. Otherwise, not doing too badly. We're making a little bit of money, about 80 gold coins, and... <laughs> it's like no money whatsoever. Um, and we've got a fair and sizable force. And our next objective will be to sweep back around and take a Ginyard, methinks. Although we could do with some towers, actually. Just to get an idea on what's coming, where it's coming from, and who we should be worried about. Objective um, The border of the King's Land. Ah, and he goes down to about there. Um, Saravan, if you would. Get involved on the tower building. We don't want to get Oldberg just yet, Oldberg in the fold, because that'll border us with Gondor, and they may take umbrage with us on their border. So we don't want that. Yeah, but, um,. I think for now we can just sort of see what happens. Do we think we're going to hold that? Yeah, I think we probably will be alright. They've got a lot of cavalry, which is going to be no use to them. But we could try and send an army back, although we've just moved our generals out. <laughs> yeah, let's end the turn. What the hey? Let's see what happens. I've turned on the... What? What? Rohan's priorities are a little askew at the moment, it would seem. Why is Foldberg more important to you than the Hornberg? That makes no sense. Unless it makes more money, I suppose. More money. We shall see. Many thanks to you all for your compliments on the story of Leofric. Um, many people seemed quite pleased with the story, so I was pleased with that. Ah, bugger, we've just incited Edoras's last stand army. There they stand, Yorkenston. I have nothing to say to you, scum. Faunus has been assaulted. Right, so our garrison force here, um, Saruman, we'll oh. take you, you'll be better there. Let's... Oh dear, Folberg's definitely going to fall. Mm -hmm. Try and get some troops in there. I don't know if we want to send Lurtz back to Edoras as well. Yeah, uh, we will for now. If we have to rise up, it would be better to have him in the army. Uh, but they might move for the Hornberg. We'll have to just have to wait and see. Try and train some troops. Do we have a diplomat anywhere? Grima, yes, of course. What are we doing with you, Grima? Are you on a mission? No. Have we, reached, have we reached the Advent? What is it you wish to discuss? This seems very there well. We go. And I'll give you my map information if you'll give me some money. A thousand gold coins. What say you? Aye. Yeah. Seems like a most. Well, that seemed fruitful. Thank you. Farewell. Um, who else can we send it to up here? Gundabad. Keep Tomorrow going, Grima. Get on your horse. Tomorrow's journey on your way. So I've started writing the next yeah, Nazgul story, uh, and that is for a fellow called Lagaran of the Neck. And uh, I shall be writing his story over the days to come. The modding progress goes incredibly well down towards the next version, and polishing is all that's really left, although there's going to be a a lot of little groundwork to do when it actually comes to building the installer. We'll worry about that in time. But for now, we are um, certainly doing well and we are closing in. Um, little features getting added, little polish points being made. All is moving rather swiftly and rather well. Uh, no, I don't want that. You'll note that they just moved back again and hit the Hornberg. And oh, dwarves of Casadum. We haven't even sent one to them. Oh, that's an absolute easy. Seven fifty for nothing, basically. Well, what's your next suggestion then? I'd like map inform you to to buy my map information, and I'll give you, and with the very rich. Bree is under siege. We got our seven fifty. Dwarves of Lewin and High Elves are allies, and Dunland and Goblins have declared a truce. That helps evil out in all forms there, that's good to see. Did we go to war with Enidwyth? No, we neutral Dunland, didn't we? Yes, of course. Of course, of course. The Orkenston doesn't seem to be wanting to do anything. Perhaps um, oh, we really want that army to attack the Hornberg. That's the, that would help. We'd be able to deal with it quite nicely and quite easily. Take two units of those. 
I don't want to meet Yorkenstein on the plains because he's got a proper army with proper cavalry. But then we've got a sizable army. I don't know. It's just if we pull out of Edoras, they'll take it back in an instant. They don't seem to want to take Edoras. Um, we need the Hornberg army to die. If Gleardine could die... Yes, there we go. Now he will. Thank you, Captain. Agluck, you stand outnumbered, but with your strength and skill at arms, you'll best this force, I have no doubt. No doubt. How best to line us up, I suppose, is the question. Do we want to hold the gate, or is it going to be better to be on the walls? Look to the walls, or all will be lost. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, no, they don't seem to be too bothered about the walls, if, <laughs> if the way they've lined up is any indication of where they're going. They're coming for the gate. The gate is an awful point for us. Right, uh, let's just move everyone down there for now. We've got a pike unit, haven't we? Stand ready. We will put archers up there. You can fire into that long line for as long as hopefully possible. Stretch you out as well, do the same. I don't think we have any towers here today. Uh, you again, this is just the best of all the evils really for the archers, isn't it? You're going to be firing arcing shots, but it's all we've got, so you might as well. Such a shame, such a shame. We will put at least some units down on the walls. We get a unit of Orc Defenders, you can take the wall, and... Um, I think 195 of you, you'd be good at, you'll be well placed on the wall. Everyone else is going to form interesting lines <laughs> leading back from the gate. So we've got some swordmen. We need to stop them climbing the walls themselves, I suppose, is a key feature as well. Someone's going to have to hang back up here, though, otherwise they will just try to push through for this. So we'll hold those two back, because they're not really good defensive units. You two are on the wall, so let's group you together. And all the archers, let's group all those together, so we know what's going on. You've been done. So this is all we have left. Ah, oh dear, we have hardly anything. <laughs> no, you're the one on the wall. Wrong one. Wrong one. No, you are the one on the wall. Ah, you're down there. Oh, you're miles away. Right, come up here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. We'll move you in a moment. You're there already, and we've got the spearmen. Dear. Um, is there any any better way? We might be able to... No, because if they go up there, they can get in through there, can't they? Oh, damn. I'm just wondering if instead we could... How can we use the archers to create a sort of kill zone? That's what we want to do. So, I think if we put you there, you might be able to fire over our forces and hit them as they come into the gate. We'll move you properly in a moment. And if you put that one on, we'll move them again in a minute. Let's just chuck them all down there for now. Right, start the battle. So, you guys come and stand here and block them from going up those stairs. Pikes go with them. And then we get the swordmen to go there. And you guys to go there as well. You fellows don't shoot just yet. Are you doing normal shots? Did I just see normal shots? Oh, wow, yes. Oh, at least for a short while, we will get some good shots off. The cavalry here is going to be their undoing. They have so many cavalry battalions. Ah, I forgot to move the general. Right, you guys, turn and face that way to block anything that comes from that way. Uh, ugly luck, actually, if you go to there, and then the 44 of you come and stand across there. The Hornberg. <laughs> Sitting atop the horn rock at the end of Helm's Dyke. Uh, it's not Helm's Dyke, is it? That's way out there somewhere. Helm's Deep, in fact. Right, as expected, many of them coming for the gates. Although the cavalry seems to be moving toward the wall. Someone needs to tell the cavalry that they're not going to have a good time of that. Alright, guys, you've got some farmhand pikemen coming. Let's speed it up. Oh, wrong button. There we are. Here they come. A pike unit going first over the walls. I would not want to be in that group. Oh, look, it's like a it's like a slaughter conveyor belt. The enemy are battering down our gates. As they drop, they're way too close to our sword and shield units and they fall. 
You guys stand ready. You've got some yawling militia coming through. Take note of what these yawling militia look like upgraded. Don't take note because that disproves my point entirely. Have you not got an unupgraded yawling militia anywhere, Rowan? No, it doesn't seem like they do. It does not seem like they do. Don't shoot at the units that are directly in front of the gate. Keep up your nice fire on the units out there. We're all ready. We all stand prepared. Rohan will break upon their own fortress. And here they will meet nothing but death. Right, the gate's fallen. We shall see the bulk of the enemy force coming through now. Yeah, here they come. Right, so archers, you can all stop. Fire at whatever you like. It's on. Pikes, you have... A <laughs> You're going to be so important today. I hope you know and are ready for what is expected of you. You fellows, feel free to now start shooting. Oh, actually, if you could move to there, that's a much better position. They're ready on the square. We're ready everywhere. On the walls. They have indeed abandoned the walls. The walls are only going to face two units. Come out of defensive mode. Get them. Break into them. I do very much like this battle map, but I'm a little displeased that they've attempted to um, shape it after the film's version of Helm's Deep and they've included Gandalf's charge point. Because, of course, in truth, if we are to look at the field, Gandalf comes from that hill over there. Because Theoden manages to ride all the way out here, and then some, to the dike of far beyond there, and then Gandalf comes in from the hill on the side, on the left. And not on the east, as the film would have you believe. Oh, it's all going on. The slaughter. The slaughter. Units down here. Come out of defensive mode. Ah, oh, the AI is breaking. Their enemy as general has already fallen. Right, let's use the momentum to the best of our abilities. You fellows, if you could run over here for me. The crossbows don't even appear to be firing. Move them away, move them away. Yeah, and then stop. We'll drop the Reavers into the side of the enemy, just when they least expect it. But keep those ones back, stop them from just breaking through. You keep firing, keep firing. What's going on here? Farmhand pikemen are somehow running through us to escape. Alright, and the Reavers are breaking through. This is absolutely all over. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. We sally from the gate. Ah, uh, the cavalry battalions, they're just not suited to attacking cities. And this is always the outcome. Especially when your cavalry battalions are made up basically of scouts. Your worst unit. But as they come, they turn and they flee. It'll not be long before our enemy's defences fall. The only militia on the walls are doing well, then. Get those yawling archers for me, please. We've got quite a um, we've got quite a lot. We've got a lot of bolts and arrows left. It's a shame. We get the maximum use out of that. Break yourselves out down there, and ranged units, if you would. Why are the Why are they fighting? Who are you fighting against? Oh, a unit that's fleeing. Oh, cool, they actually go down the stairs. You don't see that very often, do you? Out they go. Swords at the ready. It does seem to be those yawling archers that are the only thing left, really. Oh, no, and they're going to end it. 296, 2,269. Oh, Rohan. Woe is definitely your women and children today. 241 Urukai Raiders. Possibly the ones on the walls, one wonders. But a damned good show. Right, now with them dead, we can pull the garrison out of the Hornberg, unite it with the force of Saruman, and crush 
York and Stan, out on the field. We have such an advantage because Saruman, Lurt and Ugluck are such good generals. And Rohan's wasted all of its generals in sieges. Oh, they've come for us. Challenge accepted, Rohan. Challenge accepted. Right, the Hornberg garrison can then pull out and attack Ginyard, linking up with the forces we're training in Isengard. Then we've got a nice two-pronged approach. Ideally, if the Edoras army can hold its own, that, that's the outcome that we're after here. How can I help? Ah, they're trying to bribe. But bribery doesn't work, Gondor. Can you imagine an Isengard army taking a bribe from Gondorians? It just would never, never happen. Ah, right, Mladris has been besieged. We've got a gift, thank you. Sauron doesn't even know. Doesn't even know that we're his enemy. Gundabad and Woodland Realm, and we're winning an Erebor of Allied. That's good to see. Right, um, there's only three units, but they'll do. Move to there. We have completed and I'll take all of you except for questions. 44 of them. Uh, no, we'll take them and we'll just leave behind a unit of the Raiders. Come on, we killed everyone when we took it, didn't we? So they actually quite like us. Oh, look, it can train units and get free upkeep. Yes, perfect. Might as well take them then as well. Come on. Take the lot. Objective complete. Foldberg, if we take what you've got, and then the Isengard troops, if we send one of you down to Foldberg. Oh, Eisenrun, actually, that's better, because Eisenrun, it won't matter if they dislike us, they're not on the front line. Derweth, have you got two units in there? Ah, yes, you have. Perfect. There we are. No need. Right, you're going to go for Ginyard, and hopefully we will fend off the army at Ederus. Ederus. Yes, they're coming for us. York and Stan! The great battle for Rohan this episode is becoming. Battle. What have you actually got then? So, three units of crap, trash, three units of axemen, they're not too bad. Aerid Heavy Swordman, now we're talking. Guards of Medicel. They've been renamed to Medicel Door Wards, because I thought it sounded cooler. Uh, and then a lot of cavalry, which is really the reason why you're going to lose today. Because cavalry will do nothing for you on the steep slopes of your own capital. Nothing. Welcome, once again, to Mount Sunday, here in the heart of Canterbury. As we prepare. This is a very difficult settlement to set up in because there is almost no room whatsoever. Uh, we've got to try and utilize this hill to the best of our advantage. So, units that actually have some range. All for now, just come and stand on top of each other where we know we can place you. And of course, remembering at all the, for, remembering always that up here doesn't matter because the square is here, so the the map basically stops there. But I wonder actually if you can. No, look, that hill is just in a bad position. It looks like it could be a perfect hill, but in truth, you don't even know what you're shooting at, so it's going to be best to put them here. Our own cavalry, if yes, if you go and stay way down there along with the wargs and the other wargs, if the time is right, we might move you out. But we don't want to risk getting into a fight with their cavalry. We'll save you for when we want to try and run them down. So we'll group all three of you. Units! One line. Is that a broken wall? That's a broken wall. Have we not repaired it since we took it? I don't think we have. I wonder if they're going to use that. Oh, that would be such a pain. All right, anyway, back to the front. So, spear unit, you're going to be in the front line. Pike, you're definitely going to be in the front line. Uh, Berserkers, yes, you're a good anti-cav. And we've got another couple of spears there. Right, and then, just in cases, over on this side, we will throw in some units. Take those. Are you group with them? You're not group with them. Move them onto that point. Oh, just stand anywhere. Just literally move. I've got a lot more archers than I first thought, actually. Group them all together. Oh, and delightful, as always. Pressing Shift 1 allows you to then manoeuvre them individually as a group. But in by pressing Shift 1 un and unlocking them, it also then tries to form them into line formation or something like that. Yeah, and then all of you can stay down there. Lurts, you're going to be the back line, yeah. 
Alright, let's get this underway. Spear unit. No, 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 no. Don't try and shut them at the gate. That's folly. Instead, try and create, again, a sort of kill zone that allows them to bundle in through the gate and then our archers to handle them. Moving into position. I should pause it, really, but I always feel a bit cheeky pausing it. They are going for the gap in the wall, aren't they? Bastards. We will pause it. Uh, no, I'll tell you what we do. We'll slow it down to 0.3. Right, who else is over on this side? Into that position there. Right, people that can actually shoot. Oh, dear. No, you're, there we go. That's you done. Next. Come on. Oh, dear. You'll do as you're told, is what they tell you, but they lie to you. They lie through their teeth. Right, and the other two of you then are just going to have to come over here. Get going! <laughs> Move the cavalry back, get them out of the way. You can just be last ditch if anything goes wrong. And then Saruman, if you sit on top of that hill there. And then if all of you run, if you could run, and if you all want to fire at will when you're ready. Defensive mode. Right, let's speed her back up. It would in fact appear that their entire army has in fact abandoned. Ah, oh, we've just done all of that and we've got to change it all. Sorry, everyone. I am so very sorry. But they're not even bothering with the siege equipment. They're just going to ignore it. So we've got to very rapidly swap the entire formation over. But at least we've got those units that are going to get to the, get in and stop them before they get too far up that line. We've got to move the whole bloody army. Right, Lurts and those guys just go up there. There was another unit of not hardly any, isn't there? Yeah, you. Also just go there. And 27 of you. Oh, I've already moved you. I thought there was a 46. Oh, you're the 46. I've moved you to. 31, that's what we're after. There you are. You stand there. Right, now. Pikeman, come out of Pike Wolf for now. You're not going to need that for a while. Spearman, take up that gap. Spearmen, take up that gap, get the pikes in behind. I think they're probably going to come through the front gap, to be honest. I don't think they'll bother going all the way for that one. But we will have to wait and see, of course. There's a lot of room down here, though, so if we can trap them in this position. Everyone is running, and we're speeding up. Now, oh, that is such an awful unit to arrive first. Oh, bugger, look, they've absolutely smashed us. Right, you guys, pull over. They're not going for both gaps, so get over there. Our archers are standing on top of each other. We shall make trophies of them. There you go. Now stop. Right, the bulk of the force is now arriving. The raiders are giving their lives valiantly as the rest of the force charges down the hill. Right, now we've got them. If Everybody we down here, this, we will smash him. if you would, charge into the enemy. Pin them in. Right, all of their cavalry has now committed, so our own cavalry is now free to come out. Ah, the mounds of the dead. Not covered in symbol murder, you'll note. Although they are, but uh, none of the ground. I don't know why there's no grass. It must be a feature I've turned off somehow. But grass is really rare in uh, all of my games of Med 2. And I've seen other people play Medieval 2 with a lot more grass than I have. I don't really know why that is. I wonder if there's a setting somewhere for the amount of grass, and I've, without knowing, I've turned it down. 
Right, their cavalry has absolutely committed itself and is definitely all dead. But remember, they have got fairly good um, infantry here today. But we've got them in a perfect little shooting well. The only person who's perhaps not best. No, look, literally everyone is lined up excellently. And now they're actually firing. We should start to see some real improvements in our score. Jorkenston hasn't died yet, I note, but he is in amongst all that massive bluff. I don't know why I've played this game for so long, and yet I still give the AI so much more credit than they are ever due. Why I did not think that, of course, they will drop the rams and foolishly try and make their entire army through this one gap, because that is what the AI always does. Fortunately, it has not mattered, and if anything, has totally led to their downfall, because we can get more archers on this path than we could on the other one. Uh, unfortunately, we have lost two units of raiders, but that's an acceptable loss in my mind. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half no, they're trying men. to stop our... <laughs> no. <laughs> what? What are you doing, Rohan? Do you not know death when you see it? The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Ah, oh, we lost an awful lot of you though, didn't we? Aired heavy lancers, not to be messed with. Oh, it's absolutely all over, isn't it? Blimey, I didn't realise how well it was going over there. I uh, note Jorkenstan isn't dead yet, though. Oh, there he is. Lurtz. That's a job for you. Right, let's start mopping some of these up, shall we? If you could all move over and hit the Yawling Militia. Ah, no, we just lost a building. I thought that was going to be him. If someone can just pin those Yawling Militia for me, please... Or are they running away? Ah, the enemy has conceded. They're breaking. They're fleeing. And Jorkenstan dies. Oh no, look, they're coming back for more. How many of them are gone? 93. Continue, capture at least some of those. 98, that'll do. 699 brave Uruks. Done lendings and orcs all. 2,247 of the 2,277 fell. Only 30 Rohirrim will make it out of this absolute destruction. Jorkenstan rallied the people and he led them to their deaths. And this time the Orthanx sentries actually got the most kills. That's insane. 281 though, close followed Beast Slayers. But the, 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 the sentries got more than Saruman. That's madness. Madness. I think that is someone's depiction of Minas Tirith, because you can see the Pelennor Wall over here, um, or the Ramas Ekor, and the reason it looks particularly Italian is because, I can't remember where it's written, but it is noted that Gondor is said to have an Italian or Mediterranean style climate. So Gondor is a nice warm place, and um, no, someone please, obviously has taken Lord. that on. <laughs> And given and made a Minas Tirith with gone with uh, Italian themed architecture, which I think it looks quite cool actually. Doesn't it? it seems rather fitting. It works rather well. But there we are. I think with those two victories, what they've just done is essentially sealed Rohan's fate. And we're going to have to now think about what to do to ensure um, there's someone to fight. Because with Rohan gone, we have no immediate enemies. Of course, we're not at war with Dunland. I would just rather be allied to Ennard White. I'm not bothered about going to war with Dunnan. They might come for me, but that would be their that would be a mistake on their part. No sleeping here. So for the third time we move back on Ginyard. Merge what we can there. Ah, welcome, Prince Swidhelm. You've decided to come to your death. That's interesting. We shall leave at least a little garrison in Edoras. Two archer units and that spear unit and that axe unit. I think that'll probably be enough. Leave the pikes as well. We lost one. Oh, Swidhelm, you didn't just run into the fort. That fort, hopefully we can actually fight there. In fact, we will. I'll attack it on the next turn because that fort is, as you will all see, a custom settlement. But speaking of the next turn, what I'm going to do now is end this episode. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. Stay tuned for the rest of this week for another Isengard episode where we continue 
closing the lid on the coffin that is Rohan. And then the first faction overview for version 4, which I think at the moment is likely to be Dol Amroth or Harad, because I don't think either of those have any planned changes. Uh, so probably one of those two. Um, but we shall see. But for now, thank you for watching, and until we speak again, Navarna den Peramad Melonin, and farewell.